Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be conquering the extreme conquest map. We have already done it, but I want to make this intro to give you guys some tips before we do a complete tutorial from start to finish. But I even made mistakes in this extreme conquest, and I want to tell you guys kind of what I learned from doing the extreme conquest. So first of all, make sure you guys are reviewing and viewing your goals. They are turn-based goals. So we have to capture the Baltimore Orioles, New York Yankees, and Dodgers on the first turn. Capture the San Francisco Giants by the second turn. So that means by the end of the second turn. Capture the Houston Astros by the third turn. And capture a total of 15 strongholds by the fourth turn. Complete the map by the sixth turn. Acquire a hundred million fans. This is a tricky one that we're going to be talking about. And steal four million fans. Now, every turn you should steal fans because you need a hundred fans by the end of it to actually beat the conquest. And I barely did it. And I had to steal fans three times. And I didn't find out until the very end that I had to steal more fans. So I luckily had two more turns. So I stole fans both of those turns. Had I not caught that in time, I would have failed this conquest and had a restart after completing nearly 99% of it. So keep that in mind. Also, other territories are going to take over like the Astros and stuff. Don't have to worry about that. Just keep, be aware of where the Astros stronghold is. And maybe even take a snapshot or screenshot the original map so you guys know where these strongholds are. Because other teams will take them over and you need to know where they're at because you need to make sure you guys complete them before the turn is over. So most of mine I did on the first turn or second turn so you don't have to worry about that. We're going to be going over that in today's video. But those are some of the tips, early tips that I can give you to help you through this conquest map. Make sure you guys steal fans every single time. I had to do it three times. On Hall of Fame difficulty, that's 12 million fans I had to steal. So I would suggest steal three fans every turn. So by the time you get to that sixth turn, you have, would have stolen 15 fans. Yeah, I'm, it's five times three because you can't steal fans in the sixth turn because once the sixth turn comes, it comes, right? So make sure. You'll be able to steal 15 fans, which is more than I did. And you'll be able to do it on all-star difficulty if you steal three fans every single turn. Just keep that in mind. I even lost a game in this conquest map. So that could have also hurt me, but maybe not. So just make sure you guys are stealing those fans. You review the you view the goals. We'll go over that in the rest of the video as well. I just want to make sure you guys know that. This is the future me talking. Uh, for this intro video just to make sure you guys know those little tips before we get into it because I did make some minor errors that I think that can be fixed another error I think I made is you could possibly take these 10 fans and go this way right and then take your other 10 fans or seven fans right here you can go this way take these 10 fans and start going this way right you could possibly do that but or you can just follow my video to the T and do exactly what I did. Anyways, let's get into the video. Sorry for the long intro. And here is the extreme conquest. Now we start way down here. So as of any conquest, what do we do? We check the goals. So turn-based goal, capture the Baltimore Orioles, New York Yankees, and Los Angeles Dodgers strongholds in the middle of the E on the first turn. So Orioles, Yankees, and Dodgers, we have to capture on the first turn. So that would be Orioles, Yankees, and Dodgers. So we have to attack these guys right away and beat them on Hall of Fame difficulty, it looks like. Maybe even Legend. So that's going to be our first goal. Next one. Turn-based goal, capture the giant stronghold in the bottom of the E by the second turn. Okay. Turn-based goal, capture the Houston Astros stronghold in the middle of the Z by the third turn. So pretty 
self-explanatory uh, for this one right here. So th I think this is where we're going to start. Once again, our first goal, goal number one, we got to do the Orioles, Yankees, and Dodgers in the first turn. So we have to attack these guys right away. We can't even mess around, and we have to win. So we have to play in Hall of Fame difficulty, and we start with the Orioles, and you have to start with the Orioles. Otherwise, you will not be able to attack everyone. I guess you could hypothetically start with the Dodgers and go up. But see, if I was to start with the Yankees, then I can only go up or down. I could not, you see, if I go up, then I would have to do the Cubs next. I couldn't go to the Dodgers after I beat the Yankees on the same turn. So either I got to start with the Dodgers or you have to start with the Orioles. I'm going to start with the Orioles. Could be safe to start with the Dodgers because they may be the harder team to beat. So that way, if you don't beat them, you could just reset rather than losing to them last. But I'm not going to do that. Next, most important tip for Conquest is always select your number five starter. So in my case, it's Roy Holiday. The reason being, you'll face their number five starter, which is the lowest overall player on their starting rotation. So that's why we select the fifth starting pitcher every single time. Every single game, it'll be the fifth starting pitcher, and I will not change my mind. You can also set your lineup based on who that fifth pitcher is. Like if he's a righty, put more lefties in your lineup to help you possibly get off to a bigger lead or get a lead in the game a lot faster. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to go with my God squad here and see if we can beat the Baltimore Orioles on Hall of Fame difficulty. Now, you guys will not see the actual gameplay of this because it's simple. You play on Hall of Fame, you win the game. Best tip I can give you ahead of the game is take pitches. Wait for your pitch. Don't swing at everything. You have to have a good eye on higher difficulties, and there's no getting around it. Okay? So I'm going to play this game. Hopefully I win, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we have beaten the Baltimore Orioles, our first obstacle in the extreme program. And now we have to go and beat, remember, the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Dodgers. So that's what we're going to do next, is we are going to go beat the New York Yankees and then the Los Angeles Dodgers on this next turn. So I'm going to play the New York Yankees and the Dodgers, and hopefully when I see you guys back here soon, it will be because I beat the Dodgers and we are on to goal number two of the video. So let's go ahead. Dodgers or Yankees will also be on Hall of Fame difficulty. And I'm just showing you this in case you guys missed it in the first step. We're going to show you guys again. Number five starter all the time, every time. That way you face their number five starter, which is their lowest overall starting pitcher on their team. So make sure you guys do that. All right, so we have beaten the Yankees. We have beaten the Dodgers, and I'm probably going to show you guys a screenshot right here, right now of us doing this just so you guys can see the scores. There is the Dodgers, and there is the Yankee. All right, goal number one is complete. We captured the Orioles, the Yankees, and the Dodgers strongholds on the first turn. So now we check our goals again. Turn-based. Capture the giant stronghold by the second turn. So now we are going to be going towards the Giants and then the Astros after that. So Giants, first we got to find them, right? We got to find the Giants. All right, the Giants are way down here. So honestly, we're still on the first turn, right? So we don't end our turn. We keep going. We, we try to win as many games on Hall of Fame as we can right now. Because what's going to happen if we do that is going to make the rest of it a lot easier. And we'll even be able to start playing on All-Star. So you play on Hall of Fame and it's going to make the rest of it a lot easier. If you like skip to the second turn, you might be having to play San Francisco Giants, possibly on Legend difficulty. And you do not want to do that. So be sure you follow these directions very carefully. Just in case. Now, obviously, it's not a guarantee. Maybe you could still play them on Hall of Fame. But I'm telling you right now, if you continue and we play the uh, Twins on Hall of Fame difficulty right now, then 
most likely when we get later down the road in this conquest map, we'll be able to start playing on all star. And that's going to be very, very nice and not have to sweat nearly as much because even hall of fame, you're going to sweat some games. It's just going to happen. You're going to have a bad inning. I hate when I don't score a run or two in the first inning. Cause I'm like, Oh my God, if I just, if I miss a pitch and he hit a perfect, perfect home run, we in trouble, you know? So definitely wanted to make sure you guys are doing that. So on to the twins we go. And we're basically going to be making our way towards the Giants this entire time. If the difficulty goes up, I'll probably update you. Otherwise, we were just going to play through this. Make sure you guys are selecting your number five starter. You guys should already know why if you made it this far in the video. And I will see you guys after the game. So we have beaten the Twins five to nothing. And we have beaten the Rays five to nothing both hall of fame difficulty just in case you are wondering and now we're still on turn number one as you guys have seen the bottom right hand of your screen it says turn one we see our goal it says capture the giants by the second turn so that means by the end of the second turn or before the first turn it might be before the second turn so we're definitely going to be doing that and because we are still on the first turn, right? So we're going to attack the San Francisco Giants. And it's going to be on legend difficulty. So now we have a decision to make. Does this mean before the second turn or by, like on or before the second turn when it says by the second turn? Because see how the goal one says on the first turn? This one says by the second turn. So I think we could technically skip and play this game on Hall of Fame. But I really don't want to risk it. So I suggest, because it'll make the rest of the the rest of the mini or the rest of the conquest much, much easier, play it on legend. It's one game on legend, and hopefully it's our only game on legend. We haven't played Legend all year long, and I'm still going to play this game on Legend. I still rather play this game on Legend than risk risk it and then make sure every other, every other game is going to be on a lower difficulty than a Legend. This should be the only game on Legend, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. But I think this is the way to go. There's no way, no way against it. Like normally the extreme program or stream program, extreme conquest, you're going to have to play on legend at some point, but that's why we set our fifth starting pitcher. So we faced their worst starting pitcher. So that's why we do this to give us a chance, right? It only takes one swing. It also only takes one swing for them. I say three or four runs. We should be good. Hopefully we win this game. I'll see you guys after the game. So we have beaten the San Francisco Giants 2 to 1 on legend difficulty in extra innings. Yeah. So that was definitely a tough one. And now we're going to look at our goals. So our goals are pretty interesting. We have to complete the Astros by the third turn. And halfway, we have to capture 15 strongholds before the fourth turn or by the fourth turn. And then we need to complete the entire map within six total turns. So in order to do that, so right now, if you look at our numbers, if you look at our numbers, we just completed the San Francisco Giants down here. We only have one fan remaining. So what we're going to do to accomplish this is we're going to take our seven fans and you can see Houston's up here. So we're gonna take our seven fans down here and we're gonna start moving up. Or we could take our 10 fans that we have right over here and start moving those up or those down, which I think we might do that because this is a stronghold and I do not wanna remove fans from the stronghold because then they're going to attack it. So just by learning that, almost made a mistake there, this is a stronghold with the seven fans. You do not want to move those fans. Otherwise, you will get attacked. If anything, you want to put some fans in there. But right now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to attack with our 10 fans up here because no, the opponents are not attacking right now. So we'll worry about like putting some fans into this stronghold in the next turn. 
But because our opponents are not attacking us right now, we can attack freely. So we're going to attack as many territories as we possibly can. And for this, I'm going to start up here and I'm going to attack down. And as you see, because I have 10 fans, it's going to be an all-star difficulty. So it's going to be much easier to attack with your 10 fans than it would be seven fans anyways. And you don't want to leave your strongholds empty because then they will attack them and you will have to defend them on legend difficulty. So we definitely don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead. And we're going to attack Kansas City and play this game all the way down to Houston on all, hopefully on all-star difficulty. But if the difficulties do change, I'll be sure to update you guys. But let's go ahead and start this game on all-star and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we have beaten the Kansas City Royals three to nothing on all-star difficulty. Nothing too crazy right there. However, we may have made a mistake and we may have to start the conquest over, but we're not going to. We're going to keep going and hopefully this video survives and you guys follow along and maybe even not make the same mistake. So we got this far along. So what I'm thinking I made the mistake on is like right at the beginning. Remember when we went boom, boom, and then boom, right? We use these fans to attack these three. I think that was the wrong move. I think what they want us to do is take our 10 fans and attack here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we could have used the other fans right here to attack these two and get the ones down here. And the reason I say that is I don't know when we go to reinforce if the opponent is the CPU is going to attack this stronghold and make us defend it on legend, or if this one is going to attack this stronghold and make us defend it on legend. You see where I'm coming through? But right now we could attack these three on this churn and not have to worry about it, but I'm still going to going to make us worry about these ones up here or even this one right here if these guys attack this one because there's no one there right so that's what i'm worried about now where however at the very beginning if we took these 10 fans and we attacked these strongholds first and then eventually we got to the dodgers yankees and uh the other team that was right there we would uh, we would have got to them on the first turn eventually, even if we attack starting here, because it'd be nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and then like these games could be on legend, or you would attack these right here with this ten, right? These six with this these ten fans, and then with this one you would go down, so you would attack the Dodgers first, I believe and then the Yankees, and then this team right here, and then go up. And then when you reinforce, you would reinforce right here so they wouldn't attack you. I also don't know if if they're going to attack us. That Maybe that's where they're not going to attack us. Because then I think over here, I think we're supposed to have more fans over here. I think we're supposed to reinforce, and then we're actually supposed to have more fans right here to make this a little bit easier. Because this one isn't until the third turn. So I'm more focused on the first turn right now. And that's where I'm thinking maybe we attack boom, boom, boom right there. That way we can reinforce right here and go up, right? And then move these fans down here. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. But for now, I think we're going on this first turn. We're going to attack right here. One, two, and three. Get these done. And then maybe go up top and attack these right here. And get these done. And then we can reinforce and get to Houston. And the reason being is we don't need to get to Houston until the third turn. We're still on our first turn. So we're, we, can, we have some time to really think and see what we want to do here. And I think the, the move is, is either start down here, get these ones out of the way, or start up at the top and start moving towards uh, this, the Cubs. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So do I want to face the Tigers or the White Sox next? We'll just go, you know, the top looks pretty easy, right? It's it's White Sox, Rangers, Rockies, Phillies, and then Cubs. Oh, and Cleveland as well. 
So we, we can attack this. This is going to be an all-star difficulty. Let's see how long we can keep it on all-star difficulty. But let's go ahead and attack the Chicago White Sox. And hopefully get them done. And I'll see you guys after the game. All right. So up on the top of the map, we beat Kansas City. We beat the White Sox. We beat the Rangers. And we beat the Rockies. Now down here, we beat three more teams. We beat the Tigers, we beat the Red Sox, and we beat the Cardinals. So now this is what our map looks like. And the best part about this, if we go to view our goals, we are halfway there. We completed a total of 15 strongholds by the fourth turn. In fact, we did it on the very first turn. So now we're thinking, because the rest of these games right now, if you see why I didn't attack the rest of the top and I didn't finish the top, is because those games were going to be on Hall of Fame difficulty. And if we change difficulties, I like to let you guys know. So the three at the bottom were on All-Star and the three at the top were on All-Star or four. So that's where we left off at. So that's where we're at. So everything else is going to be on Hall of Fame, I think. I think even this one. Oh, we can actually play some of these. So that's good. We can play these ones right here, at least one of these right here, because it'll be on all-star difficulty. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and play the Mets on all-star difficulty and just keep on going as much as we can on all-star. So if we can do the next one right after the Mets and it's still an all-star, we will. If we cannot, I'll see you guys back here and we'll talk about what our next move is for the Extreme Conquest. And I will see you guys after the game. So we have beaten the New York Mets and now becomes a very tough choice. So we have 16 of the 30 teams done, right? We have 16 of the 30 teams done. However, also we need to steal four fans. That is a goal. So we need to play a game on Hall of Fame and steal four fans. I think we're going to skip right now i really do think we're gonna skip right now to the next turn um every game if i were to play it right now would be on hall of fame so i i mean i could do that right this is very risky the reason that this is very risky is i'm worried about the territories that only have one fan i'm worried about them attacking us because if they attack us we have to defend it on legend difficulty so that's what I'm worried about. I'm hoping that we can find some way to get past it. I know that we have seven fans right here that we can put over here to protect this territory. However, I don't know how many fans we're going to have to reinforce. So the only way to really find out is to skip to the steal fan phase. And in which we are going to steal fans. We're going to try to steal four fans. And I'm going to try to steal those four fans from somewhere where I possibly would need to steal fans from. And that could be anywhere, really. I could pick, I could pick the A's, the Marlins. I could pick pretty much anyone I want to steal fans from. Um, I could pick the Brewers. It is what it is, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to skip to steal fans and pray that we don't have to restart this map. Okay? So let's skip. Skip to steal fans, see what happens. And it looks like they're taking over territories. Does that hurt us? I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it hurts us. As long as we know where the Houston Astros were. We knew the Houston Astros were right here. So that actually helps us. That low-key helped us. Okay, so now we know what happens when we, when we skip to steal fans. We know what happens now. But I think things may have got easier. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm not I'm not sure if I know if things got easier. I do know that this got easier, right? This is way easier. But we also have means that we have less fans again, so uh, or less territories. We still got quite a bit though. Still got quite a bit. So we're going to steal fans from I don't know. Pittsburgh or San Diego. Doesn't really matter, I think. Right? Doesn't really matter too much. Um, I'm still thinking, though. I'm still thinking. Hold on. We're going to steal fans from the Chicago Cubs. And the reason being, they have seven fans right here in each one of these. 
and they're right next to one fan, one fan, one fan. So their next move is probably to go down and get these territories. So we're just going to steal fans from them so I can start attacking them. I'm probably going to reinforce right here so they can stop going down. I don't have to worry about this one because they have fans right here, not right here. So we got to worry about them for sure. So we're going to steal fans from the Chicago Cubs. Once again, this will be on Hall of Fame difficulty because we need to steal four fans. So that's what we're going to do. Hall of Fame difficulty to steal four fans. And I'll see you guys after the game. So we have successfully stole four fans from the Chicago Cubs, which will complete one of our goals for this extreme conquest map. We got that goal done. So now, as you guys can see, let's, let's actually count how many territories that we have, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So maybe they didn't take any of our territories. They only took territories that were not ours. So that's actually really, really good. Now, how many reinforce? We have 10 reinforcements. We have 10 reinforcements. And the biggest one is probably going to be this one right here. And the reason I say it's this one right here, we don't want these guys to come down, right? So if we put like seven there, right? I think. If we put seven there, we should be good. Um, we are also want to reinforce probably right here or right here. Well, if they get that one, they can't get this one, right? But they could get this one. But then we can move these five fans over here or these seven fans we can move up here. And that would protect that one. Or we can actually move those seven fans right here. And then that protects all of those. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I think we're going to put some reinforcements right here. Call me, like, should I use all of them? Because this next turn, we need to get to Houston's territory, which I think is way down here. So we might need to add some right here too. So if you put some right there, they can't go too far. They're really going to attack with one fan right there with only three right here. But they might reinforce right here. That's the thing. They might also reinforce. So we have to keep that in mind too. Even down here, I'm kind of scared of them reinforcing right, right, like right here and getting this stuff. So what we're going to do, ah, uh, this is so hard. I'm just trying to avoid, like maybe who cares if they get this one territory right here? Like who, maybe they won't even attack it. You know, I don't know. Maybe they won't even attack this territory. Uh, I guess that's what we can kind of hope for, that they don't attack it. And then we just reinforce right here. All right, and then we want to move fans. These fans, I want to move right here. I think that's the move for me. Oh, I can't move them right there. That's right, it's not connected. It's not connected, so we can't move them right there anyways. Um, Then maybe we move them down here, and we go up. But then these guys might attack us. I might just play that game on Hall of Fame, to be honest with you. So we take these fans and we move them right here. And then hopefully that helps us get these and then get these. And then we're almost, almost done, right? We're now attacking. Okay. We're now attacking. So this is, this is where we're at. So if you're following me along, I know it's a little hard to follow. Let's check out who we can attack. So if we attack here. It's on Hall of Fame, right? Um, if we go up here, we can attack these. It's on All-Star, okay? If we attack here, it's on All-Star. So it might be benefit to go down, up, and then use this one to go down here. Or we attack, attack, and attack. I think it's more beneficial to go up. Like, I almost don't even want to worry about this one yet. We also might want to go up on that one. If we can get... 13 all the way up that'd be ideal so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start down here at the 13 we're going to attack the Pittsburgh pirates first it's gonna be on veteran difficulty so we get an easy one right we get an easy one take your easy ones for sure we're gonna play this on veteran difficulty and we're gonna try to get to houston's territory obviously houston's territory is not on the map 
it's still gonna be like right here it's wherever the reds took it over it's like i think it's this one right here or that one right there so we're gonna regardless it's part of the reds now so we're gonna go ahead and attack pittsburgh make our way up there because we must get the houston astros by the third turn so that's what we're gonna do and remember fourth fifth starting pitcher so you face their fifth starting pitcher as usual as you guys saw at the beginning of the video and i'll see you guys after the game all right we have beaten the pittsburgh pirates so the next few games you probably guys won't see me in between the games if it goes smoothly so so i will show you this part real quick so now we're going to go up because we need to get towards that Houston, right? We need to get towards that Houston Astros stronghold in the middle of the Z. So that's like right here, right? Where the seven's at. That's the middle of the Z. It's probably, you know, right in the middle. So we're going to do that. And this game is also going to be on veterans. So once the games go back to all-star, I'll probably update you on that. But basically, we're going up the ladder here until we get to that Houston stronghold and then we'll see what our next move is based off of that because that means we'll have every goal done besides the final goal which is to complete the map in six turn and we're only on turn number two so we're in a good pace good pace right now to complete this fairly easy we just have to make sure that when we reinforce we reinforce in those right areas and we get as much done on each turn that we possibly can so it doesn't screw us in the end like this game, I might have to play on Hall of Fame just to get that territory out of my way and not have to worry about that territory later on. Because if I have to worry about this territory later on, it could screw me over in a later turn, especially if I can get through it right now. The goal is to go from 12 all the way up here. So I'll have 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and then 6 fans. Even with six fans, I think I could possibly still play this on All-Star. So that's kind of the goal there. And then use this 13 fans and attack up there at eight and go that way. Right? Because then that, that will all be on the second turn. So that's kind of what we're leaning towards doing. Okay? And then we don't have to worry about this eight right now. But first off, Reds, veteran difficulty. I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we beat the first two team, first two games against the Reds on veteran, this one and this one. Now we're going to be moving up a difficulty. We'll be on all-star for this game and any future games unless you guys get another update from me. But we're going to go ahead and keep on continuing towards that Houston Astros stronghold. I think this it's either this one or the next one that is a Houston Astros. And we'll find out once we complete that goal. So when we complete that goal, I'll definitely give you guys an update uh, when we do complete that goal for the Houston Astros as it is the only other goal that we have to worry about besides finishing the conquest on, uh, before the sixth turn or on the sixth turn. All right. So I'll talk to you guys after the game. All right. So we actually lost our last game and nothing really happened. Like they went to attack and... I feel like nothing crazy happened. This territory. Oh, wait. Did they take over this territory? Maybe they took over a territory. No, this was still here. It's just a different team owns it. The Angels own it now instead of Seattle. So, like, they didn't, like, touch any of our territories. They just captured some other territories. But nothing really changed. It's also still turn number two. So, we get to basically play that game again. But we have eight fans instead of nine i think we had nine fans before so now we only have eight fans so losing a game didn't typically hurt us and if all games to lose we lose a game on all-star off of one home run and then we just we just had a bad hitting performance i mean five six hours in bound to happen but just want to give you guys an update on that we're going to go back into the cincinnati reds on all-star difficulty and try to finish this off and win the game all right so i'll see you guys after the video or after the game all right this time we beat the reds for the final time well i think don't, don't know if it's the final time but we beat the reds this time around and that should be the houston astros stronghold 
and it is. That was the Houston Astros stronghold, so we got that goal as well. So now, one other goal I want to talk about, and that's going to be the Hunter 100 fans. So we have to make sure that we reinforce enough times to make sure that we get these 100 fans. So we have 14 more games, it looks like. Yep, 14 more games because it says 37 uh, strongholds. So yeah, there's there's 14 more stronghold or strongholds that we have to complete. So that should be very interesting right there. So the next step that we're going to do is Washington. Washington's definitely going to be the next step. If we can get these two games out of the way, uh, then we could take these and start attacking the top. So that's what we're going to do. So as you guys can see, there's most, most of the map we kind of own right now, which is kind of nice. There's not much more left to this if you guys have been following along. So we're going to go ahead and attack Washington. That game will be on All-Star as well. So it's not too sweaty. We just have to like not choke. And as always, we always pick our number five starter so we can face their worst starter on the team. And I'll see you guys after the games. We'll play both of these Washington games as long as they're both on All-Star. And I'll see you once I have completed both of those games. Or if I lose, I will update you as well. All right, so we have beaten the Washington Nationals on the second turn as well. We also got Mickey Mantle Parallel 3. And we got a another our second one of the day may have only saw the one of them in the video but i'll show this one we got another wheel spin during today's grind and that's be another five pack bundles uh we'll just save those for another time and let's see what we got so we got as far as i know we got one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve more games to play in order to beat this conquest. And that's going to mean that the Angels are up next. That's the next place we're going to go. So let's go ahead and start that one up. We're still on the second turn. But now we have the Angels, and it's on veteran difficulty, at least this one. The next one, I think, might be on All-Star, but hey, we'll take one on veteran difficulty. Let's go ahead and get this one done, and I'll see you guys after the games. All right, so now we have completed both strongholds for the Angels, which leaves us with Seattle. Both of those were on veteran difficulty. Very, very easy to do. We got a ball as a habit hidden reward. There has been some hidden rewards in this as well, but nothing too crazy. We have 11 fans now. We can attack Seattle. It's also going to be in veteran difficulty. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's play both Seattle games as well. And I'll see you the, after these games once they are finished. All right. So we have beaten the Seattle Mariners, both of their strongholds. So we are done with the Seattle Mariners. And let's see what our next step is is going to be so we have nine fans here we can actually skip this one we could skip it and we win it so good thing we won it so that now we have an extra seven fans there and we have a couple over here as well so now the next part would probably be to attack the marlins to be honest but we could actually skip a turn if we really want to right now we could actually skip a turn and probably reinforce some more areas like right here so they can't come and get us so the marlins can't attack us and then we could probably reinforce over here as well or move some fans over here and we don't have to worry about that so the, the big spots i would probably want to reinforce right now would be right here uh next to the marlins and then also probably gonna be i would say maybe by san diego so we can take out san diego and not have to play that on hall of fame Oh, that's an all-star now. They lost fans. I guess they tried to attack us and they lost fans. So this is actually an all-star now, which means I kind of want to play it. I think we are going to play it. If that's an all-star, yeah, we're definitely going to play that right now. Hopefully that works for you guys too. If it's not an all-star for you, maybe this is where you would probably reinforce. So I would probably skip to the next step or next part of the video uh, where we actually reinforce if this is not an all-star for you guys. 
but it's on all star for us so we're going to go ahead and play it on all star difficulty remember number five starter and then i will see you guys after the game all right we have beaten the san diego padres and now we are very very close like we're very very close i can smell it we're that, that we're that close right now look at how close we are we are one two three four five six games away six games away but i'm actually going to skip the steel fans and we're going to skip to reinforce we have 10 reinforcements but also remember we need to get this to a hundred fans so that's where it becomes a little tricky because that means we need to get to probably i think we have to get to the sixth turn in order to make that happen but i want to reinforce definitely right here and then we'll probably reinforce up top as well so we'll put 10 fans right here that should give us enough and then we will move uh, these seven fans and we'll put them over here i think i think that's a good spot and now we can attack again so now when we look at our fans we have 64 so we still are only on the third turn so we can actually skip one more time if we want right we can skip one more time and see where we're at i think that this will actually help us in the long run anyways so we're going to go ahead and skip to reinforce again another 10 fans that we can reinforce with. So we can put five here. They shouldn't mess with those, right? And then we can also put the rest right here. And then we still have some fans that we can move around. So these ones, we're going to go ahead and move them. And we're going to move them probably right here, I think now we are on turn number four and we have 73 total fans so now we only have two more turns left to get to those hundred fans that we need so this is like i said this is where it becomes a little tricky so we're going to go ahead and do this turn get these three out of the way and we can actually play this one on rookie. Um, I should play it on rookie for strikeouts, to be honest. I should play it on rookie just for strikeout purposes. Not have to sweat it. Or we could play up here and keep on playing veteran. I think I might do these ones first. Because those would be the, like the last one. So we should probably do these ones first. We're going to face the Chicago Cubs. And we're going to do that on veteran difficulty i will see you guys after the game all right so we have beaten the chicago cubs once however the issue right now is we are at 73 million fans we have to get to 100 and they're only giving us 10 reinforcements each time don't know why normally that rises as you go on but it's not so we means we're, we're going to be seven fans short. So we need to steal seven million fans. In order to do that, we would have to play two games or one game on Hall of Fame and one game on All-Star, and we cannot lose because then it skips the steal fan phase. So another mistake is that we should have been stealing fans all along to guarantee that we would be at the 100 fans unless they give us more reinforcements soon but we're going to skip to steal fans because we can steal fans on the fourth turn so we're going to go ahead and do that and just hope we just gotta hope skip to steal fans they're going to attack us nothing really happens right there and we're going to go ahead did they take some fans away? Because if they did, we're in trouble. We're at 72. They took one fan away. So, yeah, we definitely have to steal some fans. And we might have to steal fans on Legend, too. But we're going to go ahead. I'm going to try this on... Should we do it on Legend for the heck of it and hope that we win? I'm going to do it on Hall of Fame. We're going to do it on Hall of Fame. And then maybe Legend after if we have to. And of course, number four, number five starter as always. Let's get into it. I'll see you guys after the game. Hopefully, 
a W. All right, so the first still fans phase against the Cubs was a success. We stole our fans, and we are closer to that goal. We have 70. It still says we have 72 fans. Interesting. I feel like I should say 76 when we steal fans. But we have 14 reinforcements now, so that definitely helps. So by doing that, we got more reinforcements. Let's just hope that they do not actually try to attack us right now so we're going to go ahead and reinforce right here and we should be good i'm actually mm, should we move these four fans over i think we should Let's go ahead and move those four fans over and now it should say we have 86 fans now so maybe we reinforce with 14 next time too that would be kind of nice and that would save us, but we're probably still going to try to steal uh, four, 4 million fans just in case that doesn't work out for us. So, with that being said, who are we going to attack is the question now. I think we're going to go ahead and go up and attack these guys. That'll be on veteran difficulty. Let's go ahead and beat the Chicago Cubs at Wrigley Field on Veteran Difficulty, and I'll see you guys after the game. So we have beaten the Chicago Cubs Strongholds, leaving us just the Marlins Strongholds, and we also need to steal some fans. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna steal some fans. We got 86 of 100 right now, but actually we're gonna beat the Marlins because we don't want the Marlins to basically branch out right now so those three fans right there we gotta beat them first so we're gonna go ahead and take care of the marlins and then we're gonna go steal fans on hall of fame or legend once again and that should get us to our 100 fans once we reinforce so let's go ahead and do that so we have now beaten the marlins so now we have to go to the next stage which we need to steal fans one more time here hopefully they didn't take no fans nope we still have 86 so we gotta steal more fans from the marlins we're gonna go with hall of fame once again that should put us at 90 plus the 10 that should put us at exactly at 100 fans once we go ahead and do this so we're wish us luck roy holiday is on the mound my best advice, steal fans throughout the entirety of this conquest map, making sure you guys have enough. Obviously, we stole four fans, four fans, four fans, so a total of 12. So I would steal more than 12 fans during this conquest map to make sure you are successful. Make sure you have 100 fans going into your very last game. Another successful steal fans phase against the Marlins, and that should bring us to 100 fans. Look at that. Mike Trout, 777 at parallel three. That's actually phenomenal that we got that. That's a pretty cool number to have uh, P3 on. Makes you want to make sure he stays P3 forever. So we have 15 reinforcements now. That should actually get us over 100. Thank goodness for stealing fans. So we're going to go ahead and reinforce that. Once we hit 100, we acquired 100 million fans. We no longer have to worry about that. But if you take my advice, I'll probably have something on the very beginning of this video that goes over uh, what I learned from Extreme Conquest that gives you these tips before you actually do it. But man, if you were in the ride for this, that is absolutely crazy. So we are two games away. Everything else is complete. All we got to do is win these two games. And guess what? They're going to be on rookie difficulty to finish off the remainder of Extreme Conquest. Let's go ahead and get into the games. And I'll see you guys once we are done. Let's go. All right, we have finished the last game of the Extreme Conquest. Nine hours and 20 minutes it took us to complete. We got our chase pack 
We got our hidden reward, a millionaire pack, and we have conquered the map, and we reign supreme again in the extreme conquest. So let's go ahead and take a look at our packs, and then we'll take a look at the progress of the extreme program. All we did was the conquest map, and look what we did. Look what we got. Pretty good stuff. 20 standard packs. We're going to go ahead and open up through these. If we get any diamonds, I'll show you. If we don't, I won't. First diamond is a purple. But hey, we got a diamond out of some free packs. It's going to be 85 Garrett Cole. Second diamond, blue. Who is it going to be? Bryce Harper. We'll take that. All right, chase pack number 13. Who are we going to get? Purple Diamond will take it. Hey, free diamond, free chase pack. Freddie Freeman, 85 overall. Chase pack number 15. Uh, we get purple lights again. This time it's going to be Corey Seeger, 85 overall. We get a headliner pack. And we did get a 99 overall headliner. So we'll take Dante Bichette right here. We also got the Rockies jersey. Next one, another headliner choice pack. We'll take New Jersey's. This time, 84 overall live series. And then we just got our choice packs here. Pack one, we got a 99. Don't know if those are guaranteed, but we'll take this one, 41,000. That's a pretty good 99. I'll take that all day. 41,000 stubs right there. Next pack one. Another 99. We'll take the one that we do not have in Ozzy Smith. Pack number two. We get a Rodis Chapman and Vinny Castilla. A Rodis Chapman still going for over a hundred thousand stubs. We might have to sell him. I don't know, but we'll take him for now. Maybe he goes down in price as people finish this. So you know what? I'm in going to put him up for a hundred thousand stubs. Maybe he goes down. Pack number three. We also get 99 overalls, and we can take either Tim Anderson or Kevin Euculus. I think I'm gonna take Kevin Euculus in this one right here. And there you guys have it. All the packs, we those were all sellable too, so I can also sell them. Now let's take a look at our progress. We've only done the extreme program, are at 51 stars. The reason we're at the 51 stars is look at this. During the conquest, we completed 100 home runs, 150 extra base hits, 200 hits, 100 strikeouts with starting pitchers, and we have 32 innings pitched with relief pitchers. So we're we're getting close there. No other rewards have been done, as you guys can see right here. We have no vouchers, no nothing like that. We haven't done the showdown, but 35 stars right there. We have also almost gotten the PXP which will give us another five stars right there once we hit 25,000 PXP. And we haven't done any of the moments. So that's where we stand in the extreme program so far. We just unlocked Adam Aravino and Jorge Polanco. So we'll start on their missions as well. And we that's where we got one of our packs was in the extreme program. So we're on the way halfway there already just from doing the conquest. Obviously, not already. It's not the quickest way possible because we did the conquest map. But if you guys want to know what the quickest way possible is, let me know in the comments down below, and I will make a video about the quickest way to complete the extreme program. But not it might not be the easiest, or maybe it will. We'll have to wait and find out for that video. But this is the Extreme Conquest, conquered and complete. I hope it helped you out. I know we went through some bumps in the road during this, but we still got it done. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like the video if you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on so you guys get notified when every video goes live. And I'll see you guys next time.